Hello, this is State Representative Tom Morrison with another edition of the Morrison Report. Uh, I want to talk about what happened um, in Dixon yesterday. So Ronald Reagan's uh, boyhood home and there was a school shooting at Dixon High School. Uh, thankfully, there was a, a positive outcome if, if, if there can be such a thing. Um, so while a former student showed up at school during uh, the practice for commen the, this weekend's commencement ceremony and I think was intent on doing harm to his fellow students and there was an armed police officer already at the school, a resource officer. So this is a Dixon police department officer who is permanently assigned to Dixon High School. He was armed. He did engage the shooter and uh, injured, injured the shooter, you know, in other words, put down the threat without any injuries to other students without any deaths, thankfully. And uh, so while there have been some very high profile school shootings, you know, after the Parkland, Florida shooting, I got a lot of phone calls and emails and people said, what are you going to do about it as a state lawmaker? And it's really important that we discuss these issues and craft policy based not on emotion, but, uh, you know, just taking a step back, looking at all the facts, looking at the best way to handle situations like these. And I think it's a very reasonable um, uh, proposition or policy to have armed and trained security officers. Now, I, I did actually have a chance to talk with the state rep who covers the Dixon area. And so we'll watch just a moment of that. Yesterday morning, about eight o'clock in the morning, uh, seniors at Dixon High School were gathered in the gymnasium to practice for graduation. So, you know, typically that's a, this is the time of year where, where high school seniors are looking to the future. They have bright futures ahead of them. There's excitement. There's promise. Um, in the midst of their graduation practice yesterday morning, uh, one of their classmates uh, came into the gymnasium with a rifle and began shooting. And uh, the, luckily, thankfully, there was a school resource officer on site, a resource officer from the Dixon Police Department, was on campus, uh, immediately responded, immediately pursued the suspect. They exchanged gunfire back and forth, and the, the police officer was able to, to shoot and knock down the gunman. What have your residents said to you about the issue of guns and school shootings before this? Well, you know, I think the school resource officer is a, they're a visible part of the community, and they, and they have been. The Dixon Police Department does an excellent job of building relationships in the community. They're very visible. They have officers who are really dedicated to to knowing people, to knowing what to look out for, um, to practicing, you know, to doing drills of situations like this. So, you know, I've heard many times before about the importance of having school resource officers in place. They avert a lot of problems well before they ever get to this situation. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, they are very valuable just on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's priceless to have a school resource officer in place during an active shooting. So I think it really was, you know, the, the acknowledgement that that's an important resource to have available for our communities and our schools. Uh, and yesterday we, we were eternally grateful for the, for the fact that he was able to spring into action. You know, this is a, this is a moment for us to be, to be thankful, a moment for the community to come together and realize how close we were to, to a tragedy uh, and to really rally behind uh, our law enforcement personnel and first responders who were in the right place at the right time. You know, the, the word here has been said a lot and I think we, it needs to keep being said because that was really what happened this police officer in a in a life-threatening situation uh, didn't back down uh, and that saved other people's lives and so I think the really important thing here was that we had uh, this was a, a very experienced police officer um, who was armed uh, I, I, somebody who's done hours and hours of training with a foot with a firearm to react in those kind of situations um, th this also highlights the you know the, the potential danger of you're in a crowded uh, area like this you have people all over the place you know any errant shot whether it's from the gunman or from somebody who's trying to stop the gunman could be a danger so in this case uh, his shot was true and it was true as a result of you know a lot a lot of practice and so you know we're, we're thankful that he that was averted and it shows how important it is for training and practice and all of that all of those things that go into place years and years in the making that all um, you know come to come to a head at one moment all right well th we're thankful for that so uh, anyway uh, I want to thank Representative Tom Demmer from Dixon for being here. And uh, again, these are serious issues. We, we want to deal with these um, not in an emotional way, but in a methodical, thoughtful way so that we keep our students, keep our residents safe, um, while also acknowledging uh, that, that there are, are, are individuals who do follow the laws, are not intent on harm, but that do use weapons um, to save lives. Um, 
rather than take lives or, 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 or harm individuals. So anyway, with that, thanks for watching and have a great day.